An investigation into the environmental safety of ethanol is raising questions among Iowa farmers tonight. Since Congress required oil companies to blend the corn-based fuel into gasoline back in 2007, it has become a major part of the state's farming community. But at what cost? CBS2 News reporter Jason Hackett live in Cedar Rapids to explain. Jason. Tiffany and Scott, it takes several steps to get from this to this, but the Associated Press say, says it's the growing of this that is causing concern. But one farmer we spoke to say, much like this ear of corn, you have to peel back the layers to get the full picture. Some Iowa farmers say it's a slap in the face. For somebody to come out and, and tell me that what I'm doing is destroying the environment, I take odds with that. But for some environmental groups, it's a confirmation. The corn ethanol being produced today is worse for our climate than the gasoline. Either way, the AP's investigation of ethanol practices has polarized both sides. The news agency says ethanol practices nationwide are destroying the land and polluting water. The soil erosion and polluted runoff from fields like this is horrendous. But Anamosa farmer Gary Edwards, who has been farming for decades, says he does what he can to avoid that. If you use cover crops, if you use uh, numerous different ways of controlling your, your water output, there's no problem with raising corn. The AP's investigation also says higher demand for ethanol is a big reason for higher corn prices over the years, causing farmers to plow conservation land. But Edwards says drought conditions over the years are the real culprit. But it's caused by the weather, not by the extra demand. He says from droughts to polluted runoff, there's only so much he can control. The farmer is not in the business of just doing things because he's a good guy. He's in the business of making money, but supporting his family. National groups like the Clean Air Task Force agree. The problem, they say, lies in the policies. Which are um, creating all this demand for corn because of the ramp up of the renewable fuel standard. Now, the Environmental Protection Agency is set to decide very soon how much ethanol will be required to be put in gas in 2014. There is talk among the EPA that they'll push it back down to 2012 levels. Covering the corridor tonight in Cedar Rapids, Jason Hackett, CBS2 News, 10 at 10.